Hello, it's July 14th and we're out here at the Waterworks building. I'm Jenny Wolf and I'm here with Paul Weaver. He is one of our hard members and National Register nominators extraordinaire. He actually wrote the National Register nomination for this building. And um, I'm visiting with him here today on site just to give him a tour of where we're at with the construction. And uh, just to fill you in as to some of the things that have happened over the last few days. They've finished deconstructing the inner wall down to the exterior stucco line and removed as much of the interior brick, uh, leaving at least one brick wide there. And also they have removed one of these supporting columns and they've driven dowel holes in the spots where they're gonna drive in some steel and start building up around the steel. So we can see that that has gone on. And I expect tomorrow they'll be driving in some steel and we'll have something new to look at tomorrow. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, Paul, is you know, you were here from the beginning when we nominated this as a local landmark. We applied for a small matching grant. We applied for a special category grant. You successfully got it nominated to the National Register. So what's your opinion on how this project has been moving forward and how you feel that this is a significant part of our um, historic preservation uh, program at the city? Well, actually, I've been here a lot, lot longer than that. I've lived in the uh, Nailmar neighborhood here uh, since 1987. And a lot of you know that it was the Garden Club for many years. Then um, it set fallow, it uh, was not used, and the, the city, I guess, uh, in doing some of the assessment, found that this wall that we're looking at now was, was structurally uh, uh, unsound. So for, for several years, there was a kind of uh, a lot of questions as to uh, what the future of the building we had. I guess maybe even was it going to be demolished? Right. But uh, uh, the city, uh, and I knew you've been involved since the beginning, and, uh, and uh, a lot of the city leadership uh, uh, decided to go the historic preservation route, which is exciting. Uh, and as you said, uh, kind of the, one of the early steps was to uh, get it listed in the National Register of Historic Places. That was an exciting project. There were a lot of, I guess, um, ideas about its history. But we were able to document it. It was the city's uh, first uh, waterworks, 1898, one of the earliest brick buildings in the city. Um, and so uh, it had an important history for uh, about 30 years in that use uh, as a city waterworks. And then we were talking a little bit earlier, and this is one of the things, one of the reasons it was nominated to the, the National Register. We talk now about we're adapting it for a different use. Back in 1928, they converted it from the waterworks to a community center. And the plans were gone by a local architect, F.A. Hollingsworth, who's really one of the per first preservation architects, not only in, in St. Augustine, but in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just, a, it's got a fascinating history. Uh, and now we're looking at uh, maybe about the fourth adaptive use of the building. We've talked a little bit about that. That's still a little bit up in the air, but uh, it's exciting uh, to see it get listed in the National Register, to see, city, to see the city be successful in getting a grant for it. Uh, and my understanding is now you've got a second grant that's uh, yeah. coming up.